So today we're here for another My Team episode and a new era is upon us. As you guys know from the end of the last episode, Nico Rosberg's career is indeed over. It was an accidental mistake, but Rosberg is no longer our teammate. If you haven't seen how that happened, I'll leave the previous episode linked in the top right. But we welcome in Robert Schwartzman as a bit of um, a backup plan B, let's say, for now until the end of the season. So here's his stats on screen, and hopefully he delivers a decent, you know, battle result and, you know, is a good teammate for us in the second half of the season. Now, the weather forecast is a bit weird for some reason. I didn't get the accurate forecast, but for the race and qualifying, there is going to be some rain involved. So keep an eye out for that. In terms of the performance chart this weekend, Red Bull keep bringing upgrades and my God, they just won't stop. It's actually insane. Um, you know, how strong they are, how competitive they are. And uh, we just can't get near them right now. So yeah, we'll see what happens. After practice, though, at Zandvo, we uh, had a pretty miserable session. I'm not going to lie. We scored 0 out of 450 points in the bottom of the screen. Even on 108, the practice programs are literally impossible to do now. Um, they're so tough to beat. I'm going to have to go down to like 100 or something because I literally can't get them anymore. And, you know, for this qualifying, we are going to run 108 as always and then back to 110 for the race. So... You join me currently in qualifying, and as always, a short qualifying session. This is my first lap, and we've got the soft tyres on, and we're going to see what this first lap is going to be, which, to be fair, it was a pretty decent banker lap. Across the line, we go with a 1 minute 7.8, and uh, 6 tenths off Leclerc, but we go P7 ahead of both Williams drivers, which is not particularly convincing, but a few moments later, we went for a cool-down lap, and they went for a second push lap, and this one... We're two and a half tenths up. Currently P13 ahead of Ocon behind Stroll and Sebastian Vettel. Now making our way through the banking as we round off the lap. DRS open on the run down to the line. Having a bit of issues with the back end. And then we set a 1 minute 7.6 and jump both Astons and move into P12. And I think that will do it. Uh, as usual, the bottom six teams, both Alphas, both Williams and both Haas will be eliminated. So we're into Q2. Schwartzman's shown decent pace early on. He was four tenths quicker than us in Q1 and he got into the top 10. Now, with that said, we're going to move into uh, Q2 and we've got the medium tyres on for this first run. Now, I tried my luck on these. I, I weren't expecting to get through, but I wanted to set a banker. Now, the first lap, wasn't great. You can see in the bottom left there, or in the bottom right, but the bottom left tyre, uh, the rear left in this case, was overheating like crazy. So I had to back off. It was a very scruffy lap and it was all over the place. So I actually just went really, really slowly through this final bit before we start another push lap because I want to make sure uh, we've got the tyre temperatures under control. And we're now going to go for a second push lap. Hopefully we can get the job done on these and if not, at least set a decent banker for a possible soft run later on. So here we go. On the run down to turn one, braking at the 50, down a third, make sure to get the apex quite late on and square off and get a nice clean exit. Then on the run to turn three, we get stuck on the curb. Oh no, off track. Whoa. There's been some damage to the underbody. We're recommending you come in so we can make repairs. And uh, yeah, a bit of uh, an unfortunate one there. We got floor damage as we just got on that curb, which I've done a lot before, but for some reason we got sucked onto it and the car just started to, you know, just glide over the curb uh, like a skateboard. So uh, we went out on the soft tyres, but first of all, a weather check. This rain could be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the foreseeable future. Dries seem like the best tyre for now. So here we are, that's the weather forecast, and the rain is falling right now, so I've gone out a bit earlier than usual, three minutes to go, to try and get a lap in, because we need it. So, on the run down to turn one, can we get out of Q2? 50 meter ward, down to third gear, important here to keep the car super, super tight. Quickly back on the throttle, on the exit, into turns three, and then into the hairpin. Very important here to make sure you get a good exit, as we run a bit wide through the hairpin, trying to get a nice clean run as we take a bit of a breather on this all curved back straight as we then prepare Schreiberlack, end of sector one, into the start of sector two. Keep the car really tight again there for maximum speed and camber. Important here to avoid the inside curb if you can. If not, don't use it too much. Also, don't lean on the outside curb. We run a little bit wide there, missing our apex, but still not too shabby. Into the long left, trying to get the power down as soon as possible. Short shifting up to fifth gear, DRS wide open, and now brake at the curb. Down a third gear, use plenty of inside curb there, and then keep the car super tight on the left to use the camber to get the rotation. We have a bit of a snap as we struggle 
with the conditions and now into the final two corners here setting up the exit keeping the car relatively tight to the bottom of the apron and now a DRS wide open as we run across the line and what's it going to be it's a purple sector three even with the mistakes a one minute 7.5 our best lap of qualifying so far and we go p12 which is not bad at all unfortunately it's going to be the end of the road for us and we are out in q2 um, partly down to the conditions but still a decent performance and we weren't too far off schwarzman to be fair we could have probably got through in fairness so i do think had we done that lap in proper dry conditions I could have got into Q3. So, a bit of a shame. But on the other hand, Schwartzman in his debut, does get into Q3. So, something positive to look for. And hopefully some good news for us as a team. Either way, it's going to be for qualifying. We finish in 13th place in the end. And uh, yeah, we're now going to move into the race here at Zandvoort. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday. And he starts from pole position. Edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Gasly, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton, and Schwartzman, Sonoda, Norris, Ricardo, and Charles Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Martinez, and Vettel, Lundgaard, Ocon, Nicholas Latifi, and Nobuharu Matsushita, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now we're here for the Dutch Grand Prix, P13 on the grid, and we get the benefit of the free tyre choice. We're now back on 110 AI as always, so the AI should be pretty strong around here. I do feel like it's going to be a tricky race, and... I'm feeling the championship just slipping away a little bit, but I can't really do much about it right now. Um, the AI is just really, really fast. Either way, we'll try and do our best as always and hope for a bit of a miracle. I feel like strategy-wise, we have the upper hand and we're going to one-stop it. It's going to work a lot better for us. So medium to soft. Possibility of rain, which is getting me thinking maybe I should go for the hard tyre, but I'm going to commit to medium. I can go a couple more laps on the medium if necessary, so... We're going to try and go for that and make it work. Fuel wires, I was going to run 0.6. Because of the rain, I'm going to knock it down to about negative 0.3, just a little bit under, um, because we should save in the wet conditions. So, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. And fingers crossed, at the end of it, we've got the right strategy. And fingers crossed, maybe even a W. Okay, so let's have a look. Got a few cars and hards. Russell on mediums. Five lights. And we're underway. Not a bad start, i got to say, but we're a little bit boxed in. Trying to find some space to manoeuvre here as we go into turn one. We've got Russell on our right side, our left. We go through the middle and get them both. Lovely move. And now into turn three. Can we carry the speed around the outside and get Charles Leclerc? Yes, we can. So straight up into P10. Lovely stuff. Behind Daniel Ricciardo. Let's see how quick the AI are through Schleivlack. Oh, my God. They are so quick. I'm trying to hang on here with a set of mediums, but even still on softs, I would not keep up with this. I've pushed my tyre pressures um, down to try and have a bit better temperatures because we were struggling with that in practice and qualifying. So it should help sustain the tyre you know, temperature a bit better and that way sustain better pace long term. But end of lap one. And I've got to say, this has gone better than expected so far. Really decent start. Let's see if we can try and stay within a second of the cars ahead once the RS gets enabled on lap three but usually the AI don't use ERS through here so the back end gets very light on me there got to be so careful man not a lot of grip but so far so good let's keep it going oh boy left rear is already starting to cook I can feel it just got to try and be careful it's that middle sector man it really really kills the left rear and I lose a lot of time to the AI anyways because I'm trying to overdrive and push to compensate to so trying to catch the AI but it isn't really working either way that AI should stop should stop burning the ERS now so it's really important that we get within a second DRS is being enabled this lap we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone yep I think we're not going to be within a second though I think we're lacking a bit of pace right now especially with the middle sector coming up we need to be right on Ricardo's gearbox to have any chance of getting DRS so I think we're gonna to have to go for a phase here where we 
pull Leclerc along. Dare I say Leclerc may even have to pass us to get back in the mix here. Yeah, I think we're going to let Leclerc just crack on here. I'd rather not have to defend or fight. Let's see if he can drag us along. Let's see if the Ferrari's got the straight line speed, actually, to even get the pass on here, which I don't think he has, so I'm going to have to stay ahead. Okay, now we could let Leclerc go. But he's just not close enough. I'm not even using the RS, but he just doesn't have the speed, so forget it. We're not going to let him buy. I'm just going to drive and do my thing. I'm going to try and use a bit of energy here, see if I can fight back a little bit, but I just can't push. The rear left just gets too hot. It's very difficult, so uh, even though I've pushed the temps down by two clicks in the rears, it's not enough. I've just done consecutive back-to-back -back personal best. I'm still losing about four tenths a lap to the cars ahead, just because of the DRS effect, but the pace isn't too bad. We just need to wait until they pit realistically and just let them not get too far away. Oh, my tires are getting so hot. My God. I'm trying to push, but the left side tires don't like it. It's going to be quite bad on the soft tires later on. So I'm kind of just hoping we jump straight onto the wet tyres if the rain does arrive. Expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. Okay, there's the first message. Let's see how that progresses over the next few laps. There should be cars in the pits very shortly though. Those that are on softs. Schwarzman in, along with a bunch of other cars. So we're going to move up a couple of places. Good to see Robert having a good first race. That's exactly what we signed him for. And to be fair, his out performance expectations right now is here's Pierre Gasly. We're going to rejoin just ahead of him. He's on the hard tyre, so I think I can keep him behind. Perez has already rejoined ahead of us. The Red Bulls are so, so dominant. I can't even begin to like describe how dominant they are at the minute. Since the new patch, I just can't see nothing beating Red Bull at the minute. But let's try and keep Pierre behind, who's also been pretty strong. The Alpha Tauri, since the new patch, I've had a bit of a pace increase. A few more cars in the pits. So we're going a handful more places. We should move up to P3. Nope, P4, just behind Bottas. Bit of a shame. Not ideal, behind one of our championship rivals. And obviously Max has now done his stop as well. So this is a net P4. Obviously we have to pit still, but we may not. It depends when this rain arrives. Okay, clear. Yellow flag behind. Someone slowed down. It's Sonoda for the Alpha Tari team. So, first retirement of the race. Looks like no safety car though. All virtual safety cars are going to come from it, so we keep going on as usual. Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. Okay, it's quite a while to go to be fair. That's a bit of a stretch. We can still keep going. Pace is super consistent. I'm within a tenth of my PB pretty much every lap. But I would like that rain to arrive slightly earlier. First one for track limits as we just run a bit wide out of the penultimate corner, but still keeping the pace going. We think we may see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Oh boy, that is that's long. I was just about to ask on the radio when this rain's coming. I'm on it for an absolute flaw though, so I can stay out a bit longer because the pace is still pretty strong on these tyres. As you can see, uh, we should be on for a low 10 here. There we go. So we are running, you know decently enough so I'll start off at least another five six laps but this should have been my scheduled pit stop lap no issues with tire wear for now keep taking care of them yep I'll have a look at the wear now just to see where we're at um let's have a look okay so that's not too bad that's manageable let's keep it going so Verstappen just did a new fastest lap one minute eight point four and just for context and comparison's sake we're are going to set a new personal best and it's just a 110.0 so we're 1.6 seconds off the pace Verstappen's doing I don't know how he's doing it but the Red Bull is just in a different planet right now <laughs> we're at 8.4 that's unbelievable pace he's got more in the tank and I'm pretty sure he's on a set of hard tires as well which is even more insane having said that it's getting a bit dark now so I don't think the rain's a million miles away Let's keep on the sky. Let's ask for the weather report and see. The rain is a few laps out yet, but it is coming. Be careful. Dry seem like the best tyre for now. I think we're going to hold on. We can still stay out a bit longer. There's no point now changing our strategy. We may as well commit and try and see if we can scrape P4 today. Realistically. Okay, we don't think we're far away from some rain. I'll keep you updated as the conditions change. Here comes Gasly. 
I've had a bit of a poor final corner. Oh, we lock up the right front. Gazzy trying to go the long way around. He's still there, but I'm just going to run him out of road. Thank God for that. That was a bit of a mistake there. Didn't quite get the final corner right, and it almost cost us. Ooh. Green flag. Yellow flag. It's behind. That's Lewis. I think it's Lewis. He's slowing down. Yes, it is. This could be massive. There's a safety car here. The rain is imminent any moment now. Looks like the yellow flag has fixed itself, so I think Lewis may have just made a mistake though. Not retired, he just went off the track and made a slight error. I've just had the tyre warning indicator come on in the bottom right, which means our front left is probably just above 60 now, so we're starting to run pretty low on the old tyre grip. I really need this rain to arrive now. I think Gaz is going to have another shot here. We're going to have to defend the inside one more time. Here we go. Into turn one. Getting the inside line where the banking is. And staying ahead one more time. Ah, here we go. The rain's starting to fall. The first droplets. Lovely stuff. Right, we need this to come down pretty quickly, to be honest. I can't really afford to mess around too much. Pierre, looking for the move here again. Into the chicane. We're going to hold it around the outside. Nice, clean defending. Come on, rain. Come down. Track is not getting worse, man. I'm only a tenth off my PB in the first sector. It's coming down at a pretty decent rate, but there's just no issues with car performance on track right now. As Gas has look up the inside. I mean, to be fair, if it does come down at about lap 33, there's a strong chance that AI may not pit. And if you guys remember from last season and season one, I think it was, I can't remember what year it was, I think it was season two, we made that call for the Inters and we timed it beautifully. The AI stayed out and it was the wrong call. History could be repeating itself here today. Still nothing, man. I mean, we're getting a little bit slower now. It has to be this lap. Like, there needs to be a drop-off this lap. Otherwise, I don't know if it's worth it or not. We're going to have to pit for drives because we need to stop. Just feeling the grip start to go. I've got a pit anyway, so... We've got a yellow flag in the middle sector. This is it. I'm just going to gamble now. Instead of pitting for softs, let's just go for in the inter because it's going to keep getting wetter anyway. So we've got to stop. It's in a mandatory by rule. So we'll just box for a set of inters instead. We've gone very, very safe on the entry. At least 20 minutes of light rain. Right, so let's get off those tyres. 73% left front. I couldn't really do much more. I had about one more lap left in these. Intermediates. Let's go for it. Exit, exit now. Let's hope for a miracle. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Easy does it on the pit, on the pit exit, sorry. Let's see what happens. So Snappen's coming through the start finish now, so we're not going to get lapped. So all the cars ahead of us are potential positions we can gain. It does feel like the track is still on the dry side, but you never know. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Maybe for the last lap, the AI might be in trouble. We can fight back. But I had to stop at some point. Oh, we got a yellow. McLaren slowed down. I think he may have crashed. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. So Ricardo is DNF'd. Okay, I feel like the rain's starting to pick up now, even though my tires are getting a bit hot. Okay, clear. Let's wait and see what happens. Surely. Nope. Guys and Drys are still pulling away. And I'm murdering my left front so maybe not looks like we're not going to get this rain unless it absolutely tumbles down on the last lap it's going to be p11 for us and out of the points that looked bad are you all right let me know you're all right The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Now there's good news and there's bad news to this one. 
The good news, Robert Schwartzman, what a debut, P6 for him here today, exactly what you want to see. And to be fair, he's outperformed my expectations in his very first race. As for the rest of it though, it's bad news. Verstappen first, Perez second, Bottas third. Red Bull are just so fast right now. It's not even funny. They lapped all the way up to P11, which is where we finished. Gasly P4 ahead of Lando, Robo, Schwartzman, um, Sainz, Leclerc, Hamilton, and Vettel. We obviously crashed out, so P11 for us and game over. Um, Russell, Stroll, Lungard, Arcon, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Masashita, Schumacher, Ricardo, Mazepin, and Sonoda join us out the points. Now, the standings are going to look a bit ropey. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're down to P5. Sergio Perez overtakes us up front. Verstappen and Bottas equal on points. And to be honest, I think we're out of the running for the World Championship. I think that was the race that put the nail in the coffin. We're just not fast enough. I think we need more upgrades, even though there's not many left, to be honest. Like, literally, I think we've got about, performance-wise, like outright performance, we've got about five upgrades left. Um, so I just feel there's a lot more in the tank for Red Bull, but still, yeah, we're looking a bit on the back foot right now constructors wise p3 and again i think that's gonna be the best we can do this season i think the top two are a bit too far ahead so yeah we'll see what we can do but this was a deflating episode i'm not gonna lie this one um is a painful one but nonetheless we move into the next one hopefully we can do better let's go into the laptop now after the race bottas officially confirms his victory in the rivalry versus us of course with a pretty convincing score in the end nearly 10 points clear just not the way i want it to be but we couldn't do um you know much about that so yeah acclaim wise schwartz moves up to level nine which is good so that's a small little positive anyways and um we move out to the cash payouts and i think we should still get a full payout which we do so that's good to see elsewhere damages i think we may have some due to floor damage uh, which we do so yeah, let's move to upgrades and uh, let's see what we can do moving forward. So we've got a pretty short turnaround until the next race in Monza, so not a lot of time to get stuff done, but we're going to go for a reaction training program to keep uh, Schwartzman's focus up, which is kind of the key thing here. Elsewhere, um, we're going to go to the R&D and let's have a look, see what we can afford. We've got enough points to go for a relatively big upgrade, so let's have a look. We've got quite a bit to do to be found front downfalls, which we're lacking right now, so I think we're just going to go ahead and get the uh, front wing end lower uh the front wing end plate lower whatever that is um i think that's spelled wrong but still let's get that on the cart and um, that should take us with the other upgrades above the top two teams and i don't think we have enough points but moving forward i'm definitely not doing this upgrade i wish i hadn't done this one this one's really messed me up in terms of the brake performance i recommend you guys stay clear of these two um but yeah moving forward we'll try and do the hydraulics as well which has got a decent little discount and uh, the suspension geometry and that's it that'd be the chassis maxed out pretty much so not a lot really left to do so um yeah just the arrow really and uh, hopefully we'll have the upgrade on very soon but let's skip ahead to the next race and call it a day and yeah there we go job done a pretty um underwhelming episode underwhelming weekend scruffy from the get-go crashes lack of pace and just even on 108 i'm not getting away from it and to be fair i'm not particularly enjoying this right now i'd much rather start from scratch and start with the default cars again but um yeah who knows hopefully a regulation change can come along and clear things up a little bit either way if you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, watch me suffer a little bit and crash and you know struggle then leave a like subscribe for more as always and uh, finally check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them but that's it from me and i'll see you all next time